Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. We are cleaning out this pantry. I have been putting this off and putting it off and with my freezer reset, pantry reset, food reset, I really want to have a nice, clean, organized pantry before I do a like big Costco haul or a big grocery store haul for the month of June. So we're gonna tackle this today. I'm gonna show it to you how it is now. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I bought to organize it with, and then we're gonna get going on organizing it. Let's go. This is what we're working with in the very beginning. So my pantry, as you guys know, you know, it kind of goes in and there's a side over there and a side over there. So we've got quite the disaster that we need to work with. Some of these boxes don't even have anything in them. Some have just like a few things like this. There's not a ton in there. Some of these chips are old and stale and need to be thrown out. Same thing with some stuff up there. So we have quite the disaster. Same thing over there but we're gonna tackle it. We're gonna handle this and it's going to look much, much better afterwards. So my plan is to sort of take everything out and like look through everything and see what we have on hand and then organize stuff into the buckets that I bought um, and then kind of load it all back in. I'll probably go ahead and mop the floor as well because I'm sure that it needs mop. So let me go ahead and show you guys all the stuff that I bought to organize the pantry with. I went to the dollar store and I grabbed all of this stuff here. So I couldn't find like chalkboard sticker labels, which is what I wanted. So I just got some of these removable ones and then I bought a gold, um, I mean, it's supposed to be a chalk writer pen like for chalkboards, but I'm hoping that it will work. I grabbed a couple of these. I've already washed these since I'm going to be putting food in them. We have two of the bigger buckets there, five of the medium sized buckets, and then two of the smaller ones that I'm thinking will be good for like cereal bars, pouches for Finley, stuff like that. So that is what I bought. First thing we're gonna do is take everything out of the pantry, put it on the counter and work from there. We might do one side and then the other side. I think that's what we'll do. We'll focus on like the snack side first and then the other side. So let's get going. How many bags of Pop-Tarts do I possibly need? This is like the third box of Pop-Tarts that I've already pulled out. Like clearly I am not one that pays attention to what we have in the pantry before like all these boxes of saltines before I go shopping again. So we need to get better about that, friends. What's best for you? Okay, we have all of this counter with that first half. There's even some more stuff over there on the table. The first thing I'm gonna do is just go through and kind of like pull out the stuff that I know we're not gonna be eating, stuff that's been here for a long time, like, you know, almost empty bags of chips, and we're gonna get rid of it. I'm sure there's stuff in here as well that is just like really expired. Um, like stuff that we haven't, like I, I love my mother-in-law and I love that she bought me this for Easter, but nobody's gonna eat this. And it's going in the trash. Like none of us need in a whole Easter bunny like that. So same thing with these, like we bought these a long time ago. They're like a little s'mores. They're not even opened though. And the expiration date's not fast, so I'm not gonna throw those away. But these, or are expired. These are sea salt caramels from um, Sam's Club that I bought a while back. They're expired. Things just get like thrown in the back and then 
forgotten about. So we're gonna go through all this stuff, like this cinnamon toast crunch. I'm pretty sure we've had that. Well, maybe not, we haven't had that for so long. I found a whole bag of tortilla chips that I didn't even know I had. More Easter candy. It's going in the trash. We don't need it, we're not gonna eat it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna condense some of this. There is one thing in particular that I'm thinking are all expired. I'm gonna grab them and show them to you. This box of like chips and stuff. Yeah, so the box says December of 2020. So <laughs> this whole thing's trash. That's unfortunate, but again, it's like we just kept buying stuff and not really like paying attention to what we were actually buying. A lot of this stuff I'm going to take and put in those containers. So let's go ahead and do some of that because I think that'll help free up some space. So we're just kind of going to label them as we go, like as we find boxes that we want to put things in. Cause I don't want to go ahead and label them all and like waste labels and then them not like work for what I wanted them to be. But my idea for one of these, if I can get it apart, big containers is to make it a snack container with things that I know my kids um, eat often. So, oh my gosh, this is like full on like chalk, which I feel like I shouldn't be surprised about, <laughs> but I am. So we are just going to go ahead and label our first bucket. Now for snacks, my kids like to eat simple things. So we're gonna put some of these bags of veggie straws in there. Probably just gonna put the whole bag in there. As well as some bags of this Kirkland brand popcorn because Bryson eats these almost every night for snack after dinner. So we're gonna throw some of those in there for easy access. And then my last thought for this bucket is that I'm gonna take some goldfish, put it in baggies, like pre-make out portions, and then they can just grab a baggie of goldfish. So I'm gonna go grab the goldfish and some baggies. first snack container here with the popcorn bags back there goldfish and veggie straws for the rest of the popcorn I'm actually going to just take it and put it in this container to get it out of the box I'm not sure that they will all fit in here they will and then that way when we run out of them in the snack container we can just I'll throw a couple more of these in the snack container. We can just grab some out of here and refill it. So there we have our little popcorn container. We also have one more bag of goldfish. So we are going to use this bigger plastic container for goldfish. That way when the baggies run out, we can just grab some more. So for the second um, snack container bucket, I didn't end up switching um, markers i wanted to let you guys know that chalk marker wasn't working well so i just switched to a paper mate like flare pen that i just threw on the floor um so for the second snack container i basically just took can i have that thank you <laughs> she had the marker i basically just took all of the other little like bagged snacks that we had so i have some cheez-its 
um, some Cheetos, stuff like that. And I'm just, oh, I didn't shut that bag of Cheez-Its. And I went ahead and baggied them in portions that I thought the kids like normally eat. And we're just gonna throw those in this bucket. So my plan is to like put the buckets on like the lowest shelf so that they will be able to reach them. So we're throwing in the Cheetos and the Cheez-Its. We have both of those in there. We also had some of these Kirkland soft and chewy granola bars. We're gonna throw those in there as well as some cookies. So we had those um, Pillsbury Funfetti cookies that were just sitting in there that I th honestly think everybody had forgotten about. And I like, I want people to eat them. So I'm putting those in there. And then I went ahead and bagged up some Oreos as well. Chris is the one that eats Oreos for the most part. So he will probably be the one that eats those, which is why I put like five in a bag. Cause that's about what he eats at a time. So this container, we have the cookies, the Cheez-Its, both, both kinds of cookies, the Cheez-Its, the, the Cheetos and the granola bars. We're making some good progress here, friends. I wanted to show you guys, here's a look at like my kitchen right now. So like, this is all like trash and boxes that we've emptied and all that. And then the counter still has all that stuff all over it. And then like, I have my little workspace here where I am filling containers up. So um, now I think what we're gonna do is the like granola bars and stuff. We have a lot of different options. So we have those Nature's Bakery ones. We still have, some of those chewy granola bars. There's actually a good bit left in here. And then I have those ones from Costco. So I think what we're gonna do is take one of these bigger ones and where'd that pay go? I'm losing stuff, I got so much stuff going on. I need to lift you guys up a minute too here. Okay, and write like, I don't know, cereal bars or snack bars. We'll do snack bars. And then fill this container up with all of those. That way, all the kids can just grab some. It's so crooked. All the kids can just grab some as they need them. This is the first time that I have like ever organized a pantry. I remember when I was a kid, my mom would try to organize our pantry and there were six of us. So I did not always go her way as far as like keeping it organized because there's six kids. So we were always making a giant mess in the pantry, but you know, that's what happens. So basically what I've been doing is when I empty a box, I throw it on the table back there. So I'm gonna have some trash to take out, but Finley has really been loving these cereal bars from Trader Joe's that you guys saw me get. If you watched my Trader Joe's haul from last week, um, so I have a couple more of the blueberry left. We haven't actually opened the apple just because she's been eating the blueberry so much. So we're just gonna throw these in here and then we'll top it off with those chewy bars. I cannot wait to see the difference in this pantry when I'm done. I feel like Chris is gonna come home and be like, yo, what the heck? I think I might have to throw a few more of these in that one snack container or it's gonna be too much, but there we go. We have snack bars. My kids have like way more food than I thought they did on hand available to eat to them right now. <laughs> Coffee is up next, cause you guys know that I would die without my coffee. So we're gonna use another one of those containers. Hopefully they all fit for mine and Chris's coffee pods, let's see. They did all fit. I'm not sure that like if it was a new box and there's a random cracker in the box, if they would fit, but for now, they all fit in there. I have one more of these and I really was wanting to use them for Finley's pouches, but I also forgot that we have all of these Pop-Tarts. So I'm having to think about this a lot, or a little bit. 
to make sure. I don't know that I need it for a whole lot of other stuff. I'm thinking of putting Pop-Tarts, like make one of these breakfast foods because Finley, or not Finley, Kylie likes to eat um, like Entenmann's muffins and stuff for breakfast. So maybe once I get some of those, I don't have any right now, but maybe once I get some of those, I will add those in here as well. A random chocolate bar. These are the chocolate bars that I got from, where did I get those? Lidl. When I did that Lidl video. Y'all, why do I have so many of these Pop-Tarts? These things I wish for you. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and baggied it up for breakfast, like the amount that I think that they would eat. And then they would have that for a breakfast option as well. We also have some of these, actually that might not even have anything in it, those donuts. I haven't bought those in a while. I remember that I used to buy those like all the time and I haven't lately. I don't know why, I just apparently didn't want to anymore. So I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna fill the baggies with this cinnamon toast crunch. And then I think we're going to be done with snacks. I think we can move on to the other side because most of the stuff that we have left, this is not working. Most of the snacks that we have left are like candies and stuff. And I don't know, most of that's probably going to get thrown away. So we had about three baggies worth of cinnamon toast crunch. So that's three days of breakfast for somebody for sure. So I think I might start pulling out the stuff from the other side cabinet now. This is a huge project, like much more than I anticipated it being. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff back in where I think it needs to go. this was gonna be such a thing. Like I came home from, I actually got my COVID vaccine shot this morning, my first one. And I came home and I was like, oh, I have time to clean this pantry out before lunch. Like I totally have time. No, it took me like an hour to do the first half over here, which I can't show you yet because that's for the reveal. <sighs> Wait, we can start over here. Okay, time to get all of this stuff out onto the counter. I'm also fighting with like dogs and babies. I have my sister's lab this week, so who is currently in here. So she's a black lab and Max is a chocolate lab as you guys know, so lots of labs this week. This one's gonna take longer. This is like all the little stuff, so we'll check back in when I have it all out. <laughs> I found these um, like Jack Link beef jerky tabs that I honestly just think that Chris has forgotten about. So I'm going to throw them in one of the snack containers so that maybe he'll eat them because I don't remember them being cheap. So. Okay. Got it all out. Now let's see what we can do with it. Some of this stuff, like, you know, the boxes of the pasta and stuff, we're just going to neatly organize back in the pantry. But then I have tons of like random like baking stuff everywhere that we're going to try and condense. So let's see what we can do with all this stuff. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna mop in there. No worries. 
What are you doing? She's playing behind my curtains. So for this other little red container, I'm gonna use that for, I don't even think I'm gonna label this one because it's very self-explanatory, but I'm gonna use that for these pouches. You guys know I get these at Costco. They're her absolute favorite one. She eats one every day for lunch. Like at the end for lunch. So I'm actually gonna need some more of these soon. We really didn't have that many left. So that's gonna be one of the containers. And then for the other one, I have all, well, I have two more containers, but I have all this random baking stuff that like cereal stuck to me. I'm just doing powdered sugar all over me. We're doing great things here. So I have all this random like baking stuff, like sprinkles and you know, baking powder and baking soda and all that stuff. So I'm going to make a baking tub. We're just gonna put like all these random sprinkles, these boxes of baking soda, you know, cocoa powder that who knows if that's even still good. No, I did just buy this. I just bought this when I did that. Um, those overnight oats and that freezer cook with me thing. I mean, we have different colors of like food coloring and all that. So we're just gonna throw all of this in there. And then I think I'm gonna make a basket with um, like random meal things because we have like some macaroni, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna put it all together and show you what we have done because I am so excited for the outcome. <laughs> for the past several years, we've been using this container for our rice. This was actually a popcorn container from Disney World, like one of those that you can order. I just put that somewhere. Um, but I want everything to be uniform, so I'm gonna pour it in this other little container. And I actually have some more that I'll use to fill it. And then I don't know what I'll do with this, like the rest of this bag. Maybe just put it in the randoms box. Like until it's time to refill it. But that way, all the containers match, like my little brain wanted them to. I do want to grab a few more containers like for the dog food and stuff like that, but we just haven't gotten there yet. Right now, we're just trying to do this. I did have to, on that other container, I had to tape over it so that it would stay. Rice. All we have left to do is pull all this crap out of the bottom and mop and then put it back in. And then we can show y'all what I did. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get all this pulled out of here, mop the floor, and then we'll do the reveal. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We would... Okay, guys, are you ready? for the reveal. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of the before just so that you can remember what it looked like. It was insane. You saw there was stuff all over the floor. The chip bags were completely unorganized. Like the whole thing was a disaster. So I'm so excited to show you guys the reveal. Let's do it. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what the pantry looks like now. Okay guys, so here is the floor. You can see there's hardly anything on the floor now. And then, oh, this is my favorite part. Look at this side, guys. So I'm gonna try, maybe if I get in the corner back here, you'll be able to see it better. Oh my gosh, okay. So on the floor, we just have the paper plates, my Premier Protein, and that's actually hard seltzer that I don't like, but Chris says I should give it a try again. It's been sitting there for a while, but oh, here comes Finley with the broom. But on the next shelf, I just put both of those snack containers that you guys saw me make and our little drink mixes that we, I mean, we access those several times a day, so those were definitely needed to be within arm's reach. And then up on the next shelf, 
Finley's throwing the broom. We have our coffee pods, the breakfast food with the cereal and the Pop-Tarts, and then all of the snack bars in this one. And then here we just have like the extra popcorn. Those are Pringles that need eaten. So there's a bag of tortilla chips there, a bag of the skinny pop popcorn, and then I just have that extra goldfish tub there. And then up top, we just have a few extra like cereals and saltines and all of that. So that is this side. And again, if you saw that before, it is an astounding difference. And then same thing here, here is the other side. So on the floor, we just have the soft drinks, trash bags, dog food, which I wanna get a tub for. Um, this shelf is all baking. So this is like the random like sprinkle baking container and then flour, sugar, oil, stuff like that. Oh, the next one, this is hard work guys. <laughs> the next one is all canned goods, pasta sauces, rice, and pastas. And then up here is a little bit of random stuff. So there's like random like pizza dough, Velveeta cups, stuff like that in here. These are all Finley's pouches. And then just like, you know, extra ketchup, mustard, cooking spray, stuff like that. And I didn't touch the top. That's just all of our um, kitchen things, appliances, couldn't think of the word, and some napkins. But guys, I am so excited. If you watched from the very beginning, you know what a transformation this was. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget, it, forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys on Friday for my next video. Bye guys. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's